Well, I have got something quite sad to say. Um, I'm at Linden Nature Reserve today, and unfortunately, when I got back home, I actually realised that half of my files were deleted, and it's not very helpful, is it? No. So, we've been fiddling with my SD card, fiddling with Google, fiddling with my files, fiddling with my, you know, it's like, ugh. and because I, I, I mean, I, I've seen white throats, I've seen black caps, I've seen ospreys, I've seen linnets, I've seen San Martins, and the, all five of them are new birds to me. Um, I've only, I haven't got the white throat and the black cap, unfortunately, because they, and the marsh harrier, I did see a marsh harrier today, that wasn't anything new, but I still got footage of it on my camera, but unfortunately, that's been deleted by the camera or the SD card or whatever has happened, because I have not a clue, but I still saw the ospreys, I still saw the birds, and I hope you can understand how annoying this has been for me, you know, it's just like, because I'm, I hope, because I might be going out in a few weeks. My problem, my next nature notebooks in a few weeks. I hope, because we might be going to Bempton Cliffs, I think, in May or June. Yeah, so let's hope that none of that happens. So I'll talk you through what happened later. Like what happened at the catch up. So unfortunately, I did go to the teal hide. I did also go to the way. Well, I did go to the way to scrape hide because this is the way to scrape hide. And here we go is an osprey. First, ow! I just pushed my hand against the desk. Uh, first thing I see is an osprey. Look, look at that. I mean, I was kind of expecting to see them because if you go to Linden around about this time, you're almost likely to be guaranteed to see an osprey. And I wasn't really expecting to see a shelled up. But, you know, like that's like a bonus. Actually, I think there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. I was saying, I went, there's a jackdaw, and I think this looks uh, fairly picturesque, doesn't it? Canada geese and newts one, and people in the hide at Eggleton. So this is the nest. So I'll show you a few more pictures of an osprey while I'll tell you something. So I went to the teal hide, I also went to the tufted duck hide and deep water hide. And all of the footage that I got from those hides, including the white throat on the wire, I was deleted. Like deleted, like deleted. It's, it's gone forever. I mean, osprey pictures. I think they're right, but they're right at distance. I mean, this is maybe one of my best photos of the tufted duck. Literally only a few meters away from the hide. And I was watching the osprey cam this morning, and I um, saw them flying to and fro. And, and, and look, here we go. You catch your fish because they're. Uh, the people in the high, because there's actually a woman with a scope, and she keeps saying, "Oh, they're very, very kind parents. They keep swapping over and everything." This is a badger hole, like completely. Anyway, we're on our way to the shallow water hide now. That was the exact why where I saw that white throat, and that got deleted. It's deep water hide says by either route. I took the one closest to the water just because I felt like it, because I wanted to be near the water, just in case anything happens, you know. This is the shallow water hide. I don't know what's because it's. I know it's. I know it's two levels, um, as you can see from here. But I mean, you can get a few bits of ospreys. I mean, I've just taken a few photos. It's still quite distant from this hide, but you kind of get a feel for really how distant it is. Um, also, some grey lag geese, and this is a swallow here, and it's like, Wah. this is a. I've just zoomed in on this. So this is should be the swallow you can see, and. This is the sun martin. So that's a new bird for me. I did see a few house martins, they're the ones with the blue backs, but they just... I don't know how, if you look in those RSPB or wildlife books, I don't know how they get the photos of them. It's crazy. A few Dexter cattle here. I know it's quite common around Rutland Water and Eggleton. But you can really see how ferocious the water is. Water levels are extremely high, so the person said, there won't be many waders here. Here's an Eggleton hide. I'd it's either the heron or widgeon hide, I think. It's a tufted duck. And you can definitely see that, um, so that's the lower level down there. And it's the higher level, so it's up the steps. But the lower level is actually extended out. So here's a chaffinch, just in the tree a few meters away. And we're going to do the feeders now. So we have got some chaffinch. Beautiful chaffinch. Some dunnock. I love that. I, I love dunnock. 
This one's got some sort of white stripe on its eye. Reed bunting. I mean, reed buntings aren't rare. Got some great hit. Oh, it's quite lively now. Boot it with some sort of, I don't know, disease or something. I don't know. On its eye, I feel sorry for it. Robin being ringed. As you can see from there. Chaffinch. It's quite a lot of chaffinch. I don't get many chaffinches in my garden. The only finch I really get is large flocks of goldfinch, actually. I have seen the occasional bullfinch fly over. Oh, this is actually a linnet. I've never seen them before. So I know it's a terrible photo because I just have to focus over the grass. And it's quite difficult. But, well, you can see it's red breast and it's rotting into summer plumage. So it's not as going to be as red. But you can kind of see that it's got that linnet feeling. And the, the, the people in the visitor centre, because I told them about the linnet, and they wrote linnet down the chalkboard, which I showed you at the front. So some um, more chaffinch. Is the view from the feeders. And this is a linnet, and I was like, my mum was like, oh, do you want some cake? And I was like, I'm trying to film the linnet! <laughs> and I was like, okay, jeez. So, um, pied wagtail as well. Haven't seen many of them today, so that's actually a first for me today. Not seen a pied wagtail for a long time. And now I'm just gonna leave you with the bird feeders. I'll see you at Ibrook. Hello again everyone, hope you enjoyed the music and some uh, birds, lots of reed buntings, greedy reed buntings. So at Ibert Reservoir, we were just chatting to a, a man who, uh, at the Wildlife Trust, he's very kind, he said he'd be at Costington Meadows in a couple of weeks, so let's hope we see him there. Ibert Reservoir, so it's, well, we do go to Costington Meadows quite a lot, so we'll be going there sometime soon, so don't you worry. Uh, Ibert Reservoir, not too much on today, I mean we have, uh, 
me and, uh, I'm a member of the LRS and someone said they saw five Wimbrels flew north because the dude emailed me and I was like, what? I was there at the same time as you. Dunlin at the inflow, which I checked. And um, also this. Slavonian Greaves. Like, people report these Slavonian Greaves and never see them, like the Little Turns. I had a dream about Little Turns last night, actually. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, let's um, see what we can see from my brook. It won't be um, too much, though. I mean, we have got a few fly fishers literally in the water. Don't know how deep it is, though, around there. And uh, some boaters. And back to the wildlife, we've got some mute swans. This is a great Christian Greed. I actually first thought it was a Slavonian Greed, but it is not. You know, I don't know when I'm going to see a Slavonian Greed. It's probably going to be, I don't know. And this picture of Ibert Reservoir. The dam, literally. The dam's private. You can't go there. No turns, just the cormorants are hogging the pontoons. Like, I'm waiting for turns. Like, I've seen common turns before, but that's in July, so I don't want to wait until July until I next see a turn. It's going to be too long a wait for me. Shell duck. We're seeing quite a, um, quite a lot of shell duck today, actually. So we're uh, at the inflow, no Dunlin, but we are next to the border of Leicestershire and Rutland. So we're at the island now on the Leicestershire side. No eater. No Slavonian grebe. Just some mute swans. No Slavonian grebe. And it really brightened up now because that, that's it's the afternoon now. Anyway, this is a makeup talk, so I want to tell you what happened. So, first of the day, uh, we went into Linden Visitor Centre, we went to the toilets because I really needed it. So we went to the teal hide, saw some mutes ones there. I actually had no clue that I was sitting next to a spider. About So if you put your th thumb and index finger, first finger together, and just make a little ring. About that sort of size, that's its body. And I was literally sitting next to that, I got up and I was like, Oh, I was sitting next to that thing. So we went to the deep water hide, and there was literally like, you know, like all the cormorants in the trees, you know, as you kind of expect, some more mute swans. Loads of tufted duck, it's an osprey picture. Then we went, saw a white throat on the wire, and I was like, ch -ch 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 -ch, with my camera. And we went to the tufted duck hide, actually saw lots of tufted duck, coot and great crested grebe, so it kind of lives up to its name. So, yeah, it's the tufted duck hide living up to its name. And that's all I want to talk to you, so very upset about that, but you can kind of guess what it's